obviously uh, birthmarks can be pigmented birthmarks uh, which are like the tra traditional molds we talk of vascular birthmarks which are very common or they may result from abnormal development so congenital melanocytic nevus uh, looks like this very typical it can be fairly large as well it's a hyperpigmented macules or thin plaques you may exhibit hypertrichosis in some of these there is a risk of malignant transformation it's 2 to 3 percent if it is small that is less than 1.5 centimeter and rarely uh, a risk of malignancy before puberty the risk increases to 4 to 8 percent if it is a large lesion uh, if it is small you can observe and depending on the cosmetic reasons you may consider excision at puberty if it is large you can refer for discussing excision early the giant ones lying on the head or overlying the midline of the back consider the MRI of the brain or spine because there may be associated neurocutaneous melanosis and sometimes there is a risk of seizures in such cases. So dermal melanosis is uh, very benign, it's called Mongolian spots in colloquial terms. There is arrested migration of the melanocytes which leads to these uh, grey, blue uh, or green macules and patches. It's uh, most common in the dark skinned races and uh, not very common in the white skinned. It's usually affecting the lumbosacral spine and the buttocks, but it can also affect the trunk or extremities. Usually fades spontaneously by two years of age. So this is a typical Mongolian blue spot. Sometimes you may get isolated lesions in the extremities as well, which may confuse you with the birthmark or even a bruise sometimes happening after holding for sampling, maybe mimicking that. A nevus simplex, uh, also called a salmon patch, stork bite or angel's kiss. It's usually related to the area of superficially dilated capillaries like uh, the forehead, the eyelids and the nape of the neck. It can be seen in 30 to 40 percent of the newborns, so you almost expect to see it in all babies, especially the fair skinned ones. Usually it resolves spontaneously in the first two years. So this is an example of a nevus simplex. The nevus flamius or a port wine stain is a deeper red stain. It's a vascular malformation of unknown etiology. It's seen in 0.5% of the newborns. It can be permanent. So if it is a large uh, facial lesion involving the trigeminal uh, supply area, uh, cheeks, the eyelids and so on, think of Sturge Weber syndrome where there is a leptomeningeal vessel malformation with tramp track appearance on MRI. You may also have glaucoma inside the eye and the risk of retinal detachment. So it's very important to evaluate these kids. If it involves a large area of the extremities or the trunk, we have to think of arteriovenous malformations like crippled trinone syndrome where there may be asymmetry of the limbs, the side with the lesion grows bigger, or proteus syndrome which is again one of the conditions associated with asymmetry. Uh, pulse dye laser can be used to lighten the lesions if cosmetically needed. We have to refer to the dermatologist early so they can discuss the optimal time of treatment. This is a typical port wine stain in the trigeminal.